Hey, what's up guys? Um, this is a follow-up video to the previous one of where I got my new welder and my bandsaw. Um, so this is where I'm at with cutting the exhaust tubing and I will be going to my local uh, welding shop to get some argon gas and some filler rod and then I'm gonna just practice on some uh, steel that I'll get at the store and see how well I do before I do anything. The most I'll do is uh, tack these together uh, before I actually do anything with the welding until I get better at it. So this is uh, what I got done so far. I think I showed you this already in the last one. Um, I got the main pipe cut that comes off the turbo, uh, which was I think a, a total length of 19 inches of tubing. Um, so this was like reaching all the way down to the ground, about to the ground until I cut it. Um, I may do a V-band here, uh, like I said previously, um, or I might just make it one full, uh, one piece down pipe to where the flex pipe's gonna be. Uh, so here is the other 90 degree that I had that I cut um, pretty much the the straight pieces off um, so I just have this curve and this is gonna fit up to that right there um, I have this square tubing for reference of kind of a uh, where this weird angle is gonna be and so I have it straight so this is how I'm, I've been doing it to try to get my angles correctly so this will fit up on here and then all I have to do is like angle it in the right direction to match this angle here which is about right um, about like this can't really see it it's kind of hard to see anyway so I'll get that on I already drew the line on the pipe to where it should um, kind of line up which is uh, right here. So it'll line up kind of like that. Then head to the, uh, the flex pipe. So this is how it should be when it's on the turbo. This is how I've been setting it up in my bandsaw. I've tested the angles on how good the um, you know, 90 degree is from when the cut, the pipe is cut and how straight it is, it's supposed to be. It's off just a tiny bit, but it's, it's as close as I'm going to get to 90 degrees on the cut, or perpendicular, I guess you could say. This is what I've been doing here. This probably have to draw this line all the way around so I can see it. I'm going to set it in here. This is what tightens it here. And then uh, I'll draw the line all the way around it so I can get an idea where it's supposed to be. You lower it on this pipe. I just line up the line that I draw. I start the saw up and then I lower, I slowly lower it to uh, the tubes, to the piping until it starts to cut it. And then I have to hold this down because the weight of this is really heavy and I don't want to like close this so hard where it possibly uh, distorts the tubing. Um, so I keep my hand under it right here to press it down to keep it stable and flat on the uh, bench, well, I guess what you would call it, um, the grinder, until it gets uh, mostly all the way through. And that gets the, sh the cut uh, really straight. It takes uh, a couple minutes to go through. It's, it's slow, but it's better to go slow than to uh, you know, fuck up something or mess anything up. So I have to do this cut. So I'll probably make a cut here in a second and then I'll show you uh, where it's at uh, right after that. So just a minute. All right, so I set the bend on the uh, floor kind of close where it's gonna be whenever it's actually up in the air um, on the exhaust. And I put this uh, piece on the downpipe and put it at the angle 
that the one that's on the ground is at. And then I drew these uh, two lines, if you can see it, right the pencil. That way, when I mock it up, I know where the, the piece is supposed to line up at. So I'm gonna put this on there, um, and then I'm gonna tape it together, and then I'm gonna put it on the, I'm gonna tape it all together and put it, uh, tape it on the turbo, and see how it lines up. And then I got the line drawn on there to where I'm supposed to cut, but we're gonna double check after I do all this, so it'll be just a second. So I have this piece taped on so I can see how it looks. So there's how the angle is. It looks like it's really close to the oil pan. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but I'm just gonna kinda go for it. I might have to cut this piece a little farther inward, but it might go in that might send it into the start of the turn, which will angle it down. I don't want that. Um, I have to cut this piece around here, probably a quarter inch uh, towards the bend, and that might get it uh, pretty close. I don't know. Um, I have a feeling it's gonna hit something if I try it. I'm probably going to have to angle the uh, this bend here a little more to get it to fit. I don't know. I might just go for it and cut it see how it fits. Um, so here we go. Oh, and before I cut this, um, all these measurements I've been doing, or I guess estimates, have been right on where I need it the, the, the first try. Um, this is my first time ever doing this, so if I can do it, um, if you guys ever need to do something like this, I think you guys could do it. And uh, it's worth buying this uh, bandsaw for 240 bucks, I think it was. Well worth the money if you guys decide to do anything like this and you get a, a welder. Um, so let me make a cut on this and I'll be right back in just a second. That piece cut. Here's how it turned out. It's almost perfect um, on the curve the way it needs to be with that angle. Um, on the lower piece there to go straight to the back. I just have to turn that lower piece um, Just to the right a little bit that way this piece uh, straightens out um, It's a little uh, crooked whenever I line it up on the piping so oh, I estimated a distance between uh, this piece here um, this pipe here to the oil pan which is about two inches so when I cut this piece the curve um, was less than two inches um, going towards the oil pan, which I'll show you how I did it. So this is on the bandsaw, and when you have it lined up and this uh, saw is sitting on it, if you put a ruler on this straight part here, and then you put a straight piece um, right here that hits the ruler, um, you just measure from here to where it hits the ruler. The distance between there, it was uh, just under two inches, so it clears the oil pan just fine. So that's how I got that to fit the way I needed it. Um, so we're gonna do another test fit, probably with some tape. And I'm gonna put this piece on there and tape it on there, and we'll see how it fits. So, got this on the first cut. So, I'm telling you guys, if I can, if I can do this without ever doing it, you guys can do this too, so uh, we're gonna see how this fits here in a second. All right, I got this thing all taped up, and uh, it pretty much fits. It just looks like it doesn't fit because it's sitting on this block and the tape is uh, not holding the exhaust up. But it should sit about like that. There's about a centimeter gap from the bottom of the oil pan and that exhaust right there. So the only thing left to do is to weld it together, weld the flex pipe on, and buy a couple of V-bands for the exhaust system. Just have to order the three inch exhaust uh, for this model car. Um, uh, and then uh, the Skunk 2 muffler to V-band clamp that on also to the system. So stick around for more videos, uh, like and subscribe, click that bell for notifications and share the videos uh, so it helps the channel out. And if anyone needs you know help doing this kind of stuff, like I said, it's my first time doing this kind of stuff. We'll see how my TIG welding goes whenever I learn how to do that. Just uh, 
be practicing on some scrap metal here within the next week. My next video uh, in a week or two will be on my switches inside the car. Like I said in uh, one of my other videos, I think. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.